I'm a collector at heart. If you saw my house and you'd understand, um, took a lot of history in college. You put those three factors uh, together, you end up with a sign museum. And I thought that there ought to be a, a, mu a museum to actually track the history of the sign industry. January 99, just started collecting signs. Now, I, don't, I didn't know anything about how to do a museum. People always ask me, how do you get all these signs? Because the signs are, are from all across the country. When you look at our collection of signs, it's a collection of objects, but it's just as important to know the story, for example, behind a sign. The American Sign Museum currently has about 4,000 catalog items. People that leave the museum all, always leave with a new appreciation for signs. I mean, signs are everywhere in the environment, they're in the streetscape. We see them all the time. Really the only sign museum in the country that, that covers the whole range of signs, the last hundred years of signs. Then I think because the signs are highlighted here in such an impressive collection, that people come away with a new appreciation for signs. Cincinnati is it's a really good place to put the museum. When people leave here, they are amazed at the craftsmanship, at, at the history of signs, and, 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 and the memories that, that signs evoke.